friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the five things I can live without tag. I have been tagged by Erica Moulton, one of my really good YouTube friends here, and I think a few other people have tagged me as well, so I'm so sorry I'm just getting to this video, but I needed to ponder, like, what things could I possibly live without? So the list has actually changed from when I originally was going to do this video, so I was like, I need to keep it real with you guys. So here are the five things I can live without. The first thing that I can live without, and if you have been an OG of my channel, you'll already know this. I can absolutely, 110% live without blush. I hardly use my blushes. I don't even honestly have that many blushes. I just, I'm more of a bronzy girl. I'm more of a highlight girl. I don't gravitate to blushes. I don't like that 1980s rouge look, which is the only thing I associate blush with, which is silly. I know. I know. A lot of people love them. I can live without it. The second thing that I can live without is something that honestly surprised me even because as I was kind of like going through my morning routine, I'm like, what have I done without intentionally over and over? And that's something that is still kind of one of my faves, which is why this is kind of weird. But eyeliners are definitely something I can live without. Now don't get me wrong, I love a pop of teal for under my eyes and whatnot. I also really like a good black liquid liner. But honestly, like right now, I'm not wearing any liner at all, especially in the summertime. I really like a beachy vibe. I like to have some good lashes with some mascara and some good eye makeup. I don't really reach for the liner much and also if I really wanted to I could use like an eyeshadow for that so definitely could live without eyeliner the next thing I could live without again you guys probably already know this lashes I have a whole drawer of lashes yet how often on my channel do you see me actually wearing them uh, never. Practically never. I really want to get better at them, but I'm just not the best at them. It takes a while, and since I'm not the best at them, I know it's going to be like a process, like getting this part down, getting this part down. Do I cut them in half? What do I do? So for me, it's just a lot more thought to go into it, like it's going to be a night out kind of thing, and a lot of extra work. And I don't got time for that right now. So love them, have a bunch of them, can clearly live without them, because I currently do live without them. The next product that I can live without would be lip liners. Now I enjoy lip liners. You guys have seen me use them on my channel several different times. However, a lot of times I will just wear a liquid lipstick and that's not going anywhere anyway. So I don't really need a liner that often. So especially in the summertime, again, right now, I find myself reaching for like some of my ColourPop liquid lipsticks that already stay on so I can just pop those on really quick and go. So I've been skipping this for quite a while now. So. Clearly, I can live without it. Ooh, okay, so the final thing, and this took me a little bit. I was kind of like looking through my makeup drawers and looking through my makeup vanity going, what would be the fifth thing? I love so much of makeup. I honestly skip a lot the eyelid primers. I have one here from e.l.f. that is just a little liquid guy with a wand, and then this is my MAC Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot. I love these when I do use them, but I can clearly live without them, especially if I just put on some concealer under my eyes. Sometimes I'll just tap it on top and just go on about my day. If I'm doing a big zhuzhy, like dramatic look, yeah, I'll pull these out, but I can do it without it as well. So if I had to pick another product that I could live without the rest of my life, I don't need eyelid primer. I don't need it. I have other makeup that can do the same damn thing in one step. Not pulling out extra stuff, spending extra money. Ah, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. So guys, these have been the five makeup products that I can live without and occasionally, sometimes, regularly do live without. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to be tagging some of my YouTube friends down below in the description box. So please feel free to check that out to see if you have been tagged or to go see their tags once they post them. Thank you so much, Erica, for tagging me in this video. This was a lot of fun to think about because originally I totally was going to add nail polish to that. I was like, I never use nail polish. And then you guys know I have the nail crisis of 2017 where I couldn't do my peak and whites anymore because I used to always have a French and now I can't have those peak and whites. So 
I've been switching it up and trying some new nail polishes, so I can't add that to the list anymore. So that's why this has kind of changed my list. I had to think about it more, ponder it more. Hmm, what do I not use? What do I use on a daily basis? What do I skip a lot of times? Thank you guys so much for checking out my channel. If you are new, I hope you take a moment to hit that subscribe button down below. Do you see it down there? See all of the fun videos to come. I hope you hit the like button if you like to see these kind of tags. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.